Bortles going down, as is the Great Call versus Roaches. Uh, Bortles now doing 60 damage to Roaches. The Zealot gonna finish off the Extractors. Ooh, Manly Zealot. And these two Zealots coming in here. Uh, I don't know if they... There's a pylon back here. Axe, I'll put down. Warped in a few Zealots. They aren't gonna snipe it. They probably got a few drone kills. The drones did burrow, though. Roaches sitting at 2-2 two, two now. Uh, Protoss Ground is sitting at 2 weapons, 3 armor. Uh, do you know Zerg melee attacks level 1 is going down, so maybe we're going to see transition ultras. We do have Dark Templar going down. I can only assume they're back here. Yes, they are. Uh, I do not see an Overseer. These Dark Templar are probably going to come in here, get a few more kills until another Overseer pops in. Uh, how many drones can they slice? Do you know we do have Slush's main force going over here, so Slush might be preoccupied. He's going to bring them back, though. Not going to attack. These Dark Templars probably going to snipe this expansion, though, because these Dark Templars are now doing 55 per shot. This hatchery definitely going down. And kaboom. These Dark Templars now also going to be able to lead there very safely uh, before the Overseer not even morphed in yet. So I guess there wasn't an Overseer morphed in. Or if there was, he couldn't find it. Drones just kind of running around everywhere, because that's what drones do. So no more upgrades going on for the uh, ranged. More roaches continue being pumped. Just only roaches. Would like to see a single Void Ray come out sometime soon and obliterate the entire Zerg army. Uh, do you know Slush is only going to be off one base now? So Axlav really beating him in the macro uh, game. Man. And he is getting the Templar Archives now, so uh, Psy Storm. Axlav almost going to be off one base too, though. That's not good. Uh, Slush resecuring this base. Probably going to get some Spore Crawlers. Uh, as there's another Dark Templar popped in. Ready to kill. An observer coming down is going to see that there is nothing around. There's a spine crawler going up, but no detection. Uh, you always need detection versus Dark Templars, guys. And here, Roach is going to push out again for Slush. I do think he is the probably the bigger army, and he will be able to take it, unless if there's some more force field micro. There are a lot of very narrow choke points on this map, and force fields might just be able to change it. Look, force field's going down. There is, a, is there an observer overhead? I do not see one. Uh, there is an observer overhead, so it looks like these roaches won't be able to burrow. Uh, the Dark Templar is in here. He is going to force this to cancel again. So Slush continue not being able to get this. Oh, this observer is going to go down to a mutilist, though. Uh, oh, no, the overseer didn't stick around. So base continue to go down. Uh, this spine crawler also going to go down to this Dark Templar. He's so cool. He's got his little double-bladed scythe of death. Uh, Axlav not going to secure another base either, though. Slush really needs another base. He needs to secure this one or that one and just park his army and macro up. Because Slush is only a roaches at this point. Axop continuing to pump immortals, has four immortals, Sula five, and four or five immortals can go through roaches very quickly. We'd like to see him snipe this observer with his one mutilus, wherever that guy was. Looks like he's not going to. Roach is going to come in here. This isn't his full force. He is going to do a flank. This is very nice Roach position. He is going to get his secrets around. There aren't enough force fields to block them all. Oh, maybe there are. Never mind. I spoke too soon. Roach is burrowing under the force fields, though. Are going to get close up again. These Roaches continue to do a bunch of damage. Looks like they're going to intercept the force forces adequately, get behind them, and stop the Immortals' retreat. The Immortals taking a bunch of damage. New force fields going down, though, creating another barrier. Uh, the Observer is down, I think, so he can't see these burrowed units. And it looks like this base is going to be, be forced to cancel. Roach is running up. More field force fields going down. These roaches continue to just get slaughtered by these immortals with seven kills and five kills. Uh, these roaches are taking a bunch of damage. The observer is out now. These roaches trying to get in really close for the kill. Immortals aren't taking that much damage. However, Axlav's base was canceled by this mass roach by Slush. As there's an observer out again. Uh, and the roach is going to come in again. They aren't going to kill. Oh, they are going to kill the immortals. Do this. Since they now have the speed, this immortal definitely going to go down. This immortal not. Probably won't go down. It looks like. No, he is going to be target fire, and the roaches are going to take this one down too. So, stalkers are all Axlops going to have left. And I don't think he's able to take all these roaches. Uh, he is going to try, though. He's continuing to make really great use of force fields. Do not slush. Still not securing a third base. Still not a third base. It's because roaches are so mineral heavy, and they really don't require that much gas. Uh, you end up getting very gas heavy. So, it looks like he's going to take out Axlops' only mining base too. So, Axlops is going to be off no base. He's just going to force a long distance mine, and slush is going to be off a dwindling base. Uh, also long distance mining. Oh, look at this Dark Templar. He has 12 kills. He's been running around this whole time killing guys. Uh, very important that you multitask with harassing units like that. Overseer goes down though, so there aren't going to be any uh, detections of this observer. Long distance miners getting killed by the mass roach. More roaches continuing to build Really like to see Dark Templars incorporated into this army to help turn the tide because the Overseer was sniped. Looks like Dark Templar is going to come out now. Going to try to kill as many roaches as they can before another Overseer gets up. This Dark Templar. Maybe going to get some drone kills here. Looks like he is. And slice. And another one bites the dust. And this Dark Templar is continuing to be awesome. Roaches all around. No Overseer continuing to be morphed. No, here's the Overseer. Never mind. Bye, Dark Templar. We hardly knew ya. Anywho, more Dark Templars coming out. Looks like there's going to be one everywhere. I wonder what this is. More Roaches getting sliced at. This Overseer needs to stick with his guys. More Roaches being made. Uh, Slush is at 121. Axe up at 69. So Slush with the clear macro advantage. Although he has had the macro advantage before. And been beaten by... Uh, Protoss Ingenuity or in unit composition. Looks like Slush for long distance mine from the gold. However, these Dark Templars continue to pick off a lot of drones, just slicing them up. Drones make a really nasty sound when they get killed by DTs. I mean, I'm just saying. Wow.
Uh, get him. Run out of there, DT. Roaches are coming for you, and it looks like uh, Axelab's Micro is on top of it, and he is going to get his DT out, and he is securing his, re-securing his third, continuing just to do the economic harass to Slush, who isn't building much at the moment. Finally throwing down a hatch here, but there's gotten enough minerals. Very interesting game here. Uh, giant battles followed by nothing at all forever. Uh, Slush continuing to the macro up to 123. Axelab is only at 77, so Slush had almost doubled the army. He probably has more drones, so this is not a big force for Axelab. Do you know what the Overseer is not with the Force, so if DTs would come into the Force, they would be able to do a lot of damage. Uh, there are some Dark Templar being turned into Archons, though. Uh, I'm not sure I agree with that, because Dark Templar are very useful. Maybe these, are, these were High Templar because he was so gas-heavy. Archons are uh, pretty good, especially once you get the three upgrades, and they start doing 47 almost all their units. This Dark Templar, he's going to get a few kills, maybe, or just one. Uh, Roach is very fast. Uh, once they get the speed upgrade. So Slush continuing along this here. There's a bunch of drones doing absolutely nothing. Really needs to just sit on this base until it's secured. Oh, and Axlab needs to use that time to secure his own base. They are going to push out now. Uh, I do think Slush definitely has the advantage here. Are we going to see some nice force fields? Uh, eh, little used, uh, useless there. These Templar are coming in. They do not have Psy Storm or uh, uh, Kyderan Amulet. So they're just going to be morphed in to make Archons because Archon is very important. Eh? So it looks like the Roach is going to come here. Very bad force fields, not splitting the Roaches up like you want to. Better force fields coming in second. There's still too many Roaches out, though. This, these Immortals working overtime, trying to kill the Roaches. These force fields finally, finally taking effect. The Archons are about to go down now. Both Archons are going to go down. However, these Immortals are going to come in. We should be able to finish it off along with the Photon Hand's help. Immortals aren't being sniped by the Roaches. Probably a bad call. However, more Roaches coming in from this side are going to take out the last Immortal. And it looks like Slush is going to take this game. I don't know, Axelab probably just going to be barely able to defend this up, uh, going back in for the snipe. So we are going to have um, seven roaches get away. I think these stalkers will definitely be able to kill them. But now that this base is up for Slush, he's getting tons of resources more than Axelab. As Axelab did lose this base, and now he's losing a bunch of probes too. So Slush just about to win this game. Very interesting game here, seeing mass roach. Yes, it can work, even against Protoss, who are normally very good against roaches. Single Void Ray, man. Single Void Ray. I'm rambling, though. Uh, very, very... Very, very, very awesome. Stalker's coming in here for a last ditch effort. Are they going to take out a few of these? Dude, they can blink down here once it's done. But more roaches coming in. And drones! Attack of the drones! Dun, dun, dun. I don't know. I was just like singing randomly there. Several stalkers going to go down. Melee roaches coming in too, though. And Axelab GG's out of this. So Slush, proven how good roaches are. And how good tunneling claws is. And how good just pure Zerg macro is. Uh, anywho, uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe to videos. Always makes me happy to see that someone's actually watching my videos. Yes, I know, it's a surprise. Uh, I'm MD StarCraft, and I am out.